Hello everyone, it's Jeanette, Crafty Dork, here to um, do the 100 day project number 8, which is black and white photographs. Um, I've done two, as you know things are a bit funny here with my um, camera, so this one, I had a piece of black cardstock, I put my postcard stamp down the side, little black and white photo, I edged it in black cardstock, a little bit of pattern paper at the back, some lace and a couple of little flat back pearls. This little one, and I thought that could just be a journaling card, I could back the um, back of it with white card, depending on where I'm going to, what book I'm going to put it into. This little one is just, um, you could use it as ephemera, um, you could make a paper clip out of it, um, just pop it on the page as um, part of, um, could even be the front page of a journal. Um, it could be on the front of a little booklet or the sky's the limit. So I've just cut out this image of a little girl or a young lady, I suppose. She, yeah, yeah. Um, the, back pa the paper pack I used, jumping around, is um, black and white timeless and it's a um, Kaiser Craft pad. I've had it for donkey's years. Thought it's time to start using them. Um, so yeah, then I, a little bit of the lace I chopped up um, and they look like leaves so I used those. Popped a couple of black um, roses, some lace and a couple of the flat back curls again. So that's quite cute too. I love it. This one I thought I would make as a envelope. Uh oh, there goes the. Oh. Sorry, folks, I've just lost my, my flower. I found a pearl, though. Okay. Get some more flowers now. Yeah, well, there you go, you find a. Okay, so. The pad is six by uh, six and a half by six and a half. So I did um, my envelope punch board and, um, uh, and three and three quarters. Or was it two and three quarters? Two and three quarters. So at two and three quarters, you punch and then score. And then line it up, score, punch, score, punch, score, punch, all the way around on the lines. What I'm going to do is have it like that. And I'm not going to um, uh, glue it down because invariably I like to use it as um, journaling space. So we'll leave it as that. And I'm not going to ink it up either. Another little image. Um, these are all on my computer and I'm not sure. I know I got some from an auntie that were family photos. But these don't look like family. I think they must have been off one of the free sites I went on to and got some things. So I've just got some black cardstock, the pattern paper and the image. So I am going to, I forgot to say, with this one I roughed up the edges just to give it a bit of texture. So I'm just going to do that. And that's, this is a, this is this one, Heidi Snap Swap Distress, um, Paper Distresser. I've had it for a number of years. There's a lot of them, different ones out there. And I can use the scissors as well. I've just... Um, I just quite like the distressed paper. I, I used to do it on um, my um, scrapbooking pages a lot. So, um, here we go. Um, when Rachel said black and white photos, I um, straight away thought of these old images that I had and I was going to turn them all just into postcards. Um, which is something that you could do, um, you know, just have the photo and um, I've got a, um, a big, a 
it's a quite a big 654 I think it is stamped that you can stamp the back and it's already addressed and ready for writing and all that sort of stuff and I've, then I've got this little small one and I think this one is a um, Kazaz stamp um, and I thought well you know that was very very easy but I, I thought I could just tell you to do that um, you know the and the other way is to make them into like cabinet cards um, by putting um, paper on the back um, I did have a couple here this one oh no that's not one um, that one is just you know a cabinet card you could just have your image and then just write um, across the bottom um, you know a fictitious um, studio and um, use some decorative um, paper on the back um, perhaps run it through your um, embossing machine and you've got your um, cabinet card already made and just do that on um, um, what do you call it um, craft or cream cardstock so you know that's that's quite an easy little embellishment to do um, now I just want to have a bit of music paper on this one and I've got lots of real old stuff this is old but it's um, black and white so I thought well I'll use this and I'm doing the wrong side oh, no I'm not I thought I was doing the wrong side oh, no, that side Had a bit of a funny day today, a funny, funny old head which is pain in the, the behind but anyway now I just just see what it's going to look like. I've got to get used to where I'm putting things. Um, let's just fold that over so I know. Um, I'll just take that bottom line off I think and I might Just have that there. Hmm. Just get it. Oops. And I think I'm off screen. Sorry. Yeah, so I'll just pop that down there. Hope everybody's well. It's a, it was a funny day here today. We were going to take the kids down the beach and it, um, it ended up being um, you know, cold and blowy this morning and then this afternoon um, Peter went for his swim. So, <laughs> go figure. A bit weird. Yeah, so we'll just do it like that. And I'm just going to pop I'll use, the, I'll use my glitter glue because I've got that bit of texture there if we're going to work I hope I don't hit I've got a new set up there with my um, with my camera two bits of dowel sticking out from my shelf and I've got the camera laying across the top of it I've got three four bits of equipment that I bought to put my iPhone and iPads and everything in and what do I do? End up using the Dow. Could have saved a heck of a lot of money, hey? Oh, well. That's the way it goes. Just pop that up a little bit. But we've, it's a bit oh yeah, we have got wiggle room there. Okay. Now, is this going to still fit there? Yep, beautiful. I won't ink around the edges. Then keep it black and white. Yeah, so these little projects are um, going quite a lot. I quite like them, except that the equipment's not 100%, but we'll, 
work that out. I'll see tonight, Peter's talking about it, whether he did go and have a look for look for something for me. He's a good man. Okay, so we'll just go around, we'll just layer these up. And I thought this could just have, I'll fold eventually, um, I won't do it tonight, but um, I'll just fold up a piece of um, um, paper and just write a little love note on it to go in a, a journal. Um, I'm hoping to do um, a um, like Jane Austen or something like that. I just fancy doing a real old worldy something that I haven't done for a while. Um, but I've I've got to do um, I've got Artie Mays um, 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 spring touch of spring to do before I do anything I think so I just popped a couple of pieces of that lace up in that corner and that will just add a little bit of interest on the envelope and that will stay there um, so this one I'm just going to pop a run of line of glue across there and very simply let the lace hang um, over the music This lace, quite pretty. Some projects, it's just that it's a bit too white, but um, for this one, it's ideal. And then to finish it off, the lace and the music is good. I just cut a piece of the paper, and then I just popped a stamp postage stamp and mark on there so um, I looked at some that I'd cut out um, previously and they were all too big so I thought oh well we'll just go with this one it's a nicer size fits on there nicely Oops. so we'll just pop that up on that corner and then I wonder if we need any flat back pearls too. I quite like it just like that and I think that's what I'll do. I'll just leave it like that because it's letting the photo and the um, the lace and all just do its, its job by um, showing it all off. So I hope you enjoyed that little, um, little quick little um, project. I'm trying to keep them a bit shorter for you. Um, so there's three quick little projects. Um, I forgot to say here, I've just got a punch that does that. And um, flat back pearls um, I got on eBay as I did the flowers. I think the lace was from there as well. Okay, so if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up, uh, likes, share. Don't forget to hit the little bell um, to be notified of any future videos. And stay happy, healthy um, through this time. So until we meet again, happy crafting and bye for now.